Standing here with the head coach of the Exeter Blue Hawks, Paul DiMarino. Coach, you're getting ready to play in the second semifinal here at the Brian C. Stone Memorial Christmas Tournament. You're going to take on Bedford, but let's just talk to you a little bit about the regular season so far. We're this holiday tournament where you can do some different things, but after a win on opening night, you guys have lost three straight games. So talk about how you can use this tournament to maybe get things back going in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. We're trying to you know, figure out what team we are going to be this year and try to figure out our identity right now. And we're starting to get there. It was a good start for us last night. Um, and even in those three losses, like I've loved our kids' work ethic. They work hard. They're trying to do the right things. we got to limit our mistakes. The, the mistakes we've made, other teams have capitalized on us. So we're trying to do that in this tournament trying to figure out some lines a little bit still. Um, but ultimately our goal from this tournament is to get better, uh, you know, and really take pride in the little things. You guys won the tournament last year, so there's also that, hey, we can defend our title too. Yeah, a little bit there. The kids know it too. They loved it. It was a great tournament last year. Um, it was a great game against Concord, up and down. It was 3-1 fine. We got an empty netter at the end, but you know, there's a lot of good competition. That's the one thing I love about this tournament. You know you're gonna play great teams, right? And you guys have guys that played, were all tournament team, your goaltender. I mean, that helps. He was an all tournament team guy last year. He was. Um, he's actually out this week. He's battling an illness. So we've been splitting time between Trent and Logan. And um, Trent's going to get the net tonight, and he's going to do great. What can you say about the win last night? Uh, you guys put some goals in the net, uh, beat Manchester, and you guys did it kind of comfortably. Well, that's a good team over there. They're a lot better than they've been in years past, and Coach Baker's doing a great job over there. Um, but we finally, scoring goals has been an issue for us a little bit here early on in the season, so the ability to do that was a good thing for us. Um, going to the net, something we've been trying to preach to them, you know, we got to score those dirty goals, you know, the rebound, tip in, deflection, tap in, back door goals. They all see these highlights on Instagram that, you know, they want to score those nice goals, but the reality is we need to go to the net if we want to put the puck in the net. So, Let's talk about the game tonight. Bedford, always a tough matchup. Uh, they had a squeaker last night yeah. to get by and get through, and whoever wins is going to play the winner of this game. And it, we're, we're in the second intermission, Hanover leading Concord 2-1 to one right now. But talk about the matchup against Bedford. I expect it to be a great game. We've had nothing but great games with them for the last seven, eight years. I can go back to when I was Jimmy's assistant. Um, no, nothing but great games, and I expect it to be the exact same tonight. I, I think it's going to be a one-goal game.